this morning it is what what day is it it is monday morning august 31st and today we are getting a new sound system all right so i was about to go in but it looks like the preschool opened today and since they did there's a bunch of moms standing in line ready to take their kids inside so i can't go in just yet but soon we will see the transformation of the worship center well at least the new sound system We've had an older sound system. Hopefully I'll be able to video some before they take it down. It's just four loudspeakers in the um, middle pointed four different directions and it wasn't installed properly, I guess. I'm not a sound tech, but there's a lot of phasing issues, a lot of dead spots in our worship center. So I'm really looking forward to getting um, the new upgraded system. If I'm right, I think we're getting two sets of line arrays with four speakers each. I think we're also getting new screens. We have um, been using the four by three screens rather than 16 by nine. Uh, screens so that's gonna be a, a really big upgrade visually as well I'm excited about that I think the dude who's doing uh, the installation is here his name's Dan Drennan oh they're here filming. they're here how's it going it's great man mm. good morning good morning so this is Dan Drennan owner founder of Mavent So as y'all may know from another video, we talked about that we were going to paint the stage and that hasn't happened yet. We haven't been able to work any of that out, but we are getting a new sound system upgrade and screens, I think. So these are the ones that are coming down. And we also still have these older um, four by three screens, which look just like little boxes up there. And it's really hard to uh, get the lyrics big enough where it doesn't look hokey and but people can also see them so we're really excited to get new screens as well and here's the lift so this morning that's coming down so i'm planning on just being here today i'm going to set up an office over here in the corner and um, maybe get some time lapse, ask some questions. If you guys know me at all, you know that I'm not an audio expert, so I don't know anything about what we're getting today. These are our subs right here. Those are the screens? Yeah. 188 inches diagonal. It's like... I, I, I can't touch you. Man. Dude, I'm so pumped because I thought... Uh, you, need I, to get, you need to get the label of the Stewart screen. The cross section off the wall. Who's doing Cause that? Because the screen does have to lay flat against the wall. So we got to get those slats off the wall. Someone scheduled to do that? Rod Miller. What time? Dude, I love... Hey, can I say... I love how he has everything scheduled out. He has a Google Doc. Everything is scheduled out of what's going to happen. What time is Rod Miller, ske Rod Miller scheduled? 1 p.m. 1 p.m. Okay. Oh, yeah, you sent me some drives, but I couldn't open them. I didn't know what they were for. Uh, I got it. probably gave you permission. It's got all the drawings. It's got all the 3D renderings in it. Yes. Okay. I haven't tried to open it on my computer yet. So how big were those screens? 100 and 188 inches diagonally. That is large. It's going to be an improvement, that's for sure. I'm excited. So I was told now is a good time to record because they are about to plot the floor for where the big speakers are going. So what are you doing exactly? Well, so first I was going to give you access to this folder here. Oh yes, I need that access. And what's your email? So this is our model of the room. Wow. Right there. And what I am doing right now, pulling up the measurements so we can mark out on the floor where our arrays are going and then where our projection is going. Yeah, so we'll, we have laser tape. We're gonna shoot some lines, put some tape on the floor, and then we'll be good to go. That's where the tape goes. I messed up my tape, so. Okay, well, we're gonna edit this out. This is not where the tape goes. Two more. Power tools. You feel manly? 
You look so manly. And what are these, Dan? These are JBL somethings. JBL VRX 932 LAP. Curvature line array. Curvature. I think you're gonna love it. So how many speakers do we have in total? In the in the race? Yeah, so each array is gonna have a total of four boxes. Four boxes. Of so um, we have this lift till Friday. Okay. And as long as there's no bumps in the road, they should be done with everything on Wednesday. I'm getting a time lapse. All right, so we're working on the high rigging. Yeah. We got the front point in, about to put the back point up, and then we're gonna aircraft cable down to our trim height for the speakers. Nice. All right, so right now, he's up there on the lift. He's doing some rigging up there. He's using these metal struts that span the, the rafters up there, and then he's got aircraft cable that's gonna come down to hold the uh, rigging that goes on top of the speakers, and it looks like this. Like they put the on button right yeah. up against the wall here. Yeah, this this thing is a pain. That thing down here. Oh, does it need a key? Your call has been forwarded. Dan, do you know the secret to getting this lift on? We're trying to get the lift, our lift turned on, not this one, but a regular scissor lift. It's our church's lift, it's a little funky. Daniel is typing. He's coming over. So I think we're about to do something else now. What are we doing, Travis? Uh, to pull the old speakers down. Oh, it's gonna be, it's gonna feel good. Might be one of the things I am most excited about is getting these old speakers down. That's gonna be happening soon. So we're getting the screens pulled out here. A lot bigger screens than before. Stewart film screen. Now, is there a certain way to open this, or do you just take a knife right down the middle? Right down the middle. Well, the safest way should be to pry these staples out. Might take us a little bit. Well, this hammer might do what we need. Bubble wrap. These are the things we need. Level fasteners, a drill. We're going to be assembling the frame. I did bring a knife. I was actually just using it at home, but now I feel like I'm, I came to work. Came to do some actual work. Because working on a computer is not real work. Big tube is our screen. Let's take a look at it. Whoa. This here. That's a fancy knife. Is this your everyday carry? It is. It's a Leatherman Skeletool. Oh yeah, let's have one of those. It uh, has nice screwdriver bits. You got flathead, you got Phillips. It's really, the magic there. The light doesn't reflect off this very well. Almost missed it. Stepped out for a phone call. Woo, look at that. Gone. Speaker's gone. Oh, it's an exciting day. Do we even know what kind of what kind they are? Is there a brand? Uh, you know, someone probably built these. Okay. Like in their basement? In their basement. So that's what we've been using. Glad to see you guys go. It's been fun while it lasted, not really. This one wasn't, wasn't even there. closed. You guys don't know how good it makes me feel to see those gone. So the most important question of the day, Dan, what's for lunch? Uh, tzatziki's. Tzatziki's. So right now he's about to take down the old projectors. How many lumens were the old projectors? Can you tell by the box? Two lumens. Want to hear the most annoying noise in the world? <laughs> it's lunchtime. Gonna head home, charge my computer, unload some files. They got all the old speakers down. They got the old um, projectors down. They started assembling the screens and getting the other speakers out of the box. And I think after lunch, they're either gonna start installing the screens and or hanging the line arrays. So that'll be exciting. All right, back at the church. I had to go home, grab some lunch, grab my laptop charger, cause I need that. And also a block for charging batteries, camera batteries with a USB charger. I loaded up all my gear for some reason. 
Thought I was gonna unpack it home, but all I did was grab my charger. So, let's take it all back inside. I don't even think they're back from lunch yet, so I can get some work done, some more work done. I've been working. So this is Rod. Stuff, I hear you're gonna be taking down some boards. I don't know. What kind of boards? Oh, you don't even know what you're doing yet. You don't even know. Well, I'm not in charge. I, I just overheard. I, I heard you were in charge and everything. I mean, I'm obviously in charge, but they're gonna be, they just went to lunch. So you see they took the speakers down and next they're gonna be taking down, as far as I know, gonna be taking down these uh, screens because they got those big new ones going up. And those have to lay flat against the wall, which means some of those trim boards. I guess one, two, three, four trim boards have to come down. now is we have to make room for the bigger screens. These trim boards are in the way and the screens have to lay flat on the wall. All right, so we're about to open up the projectors. Eki EK355U's. I got it, put the mounts on. I like it. I think this is gonna be, this is a great idea. Hey, don't worry, that lift, it, it, holds, it holds 300 pounds. You guys are good. All right, that's the end of day one. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a once a day video. Our schedules might not line up, but I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to go ahead and post this video. And even if I don't do a video every day, I'll just keep you guys along for the journey just to see the process each day that they make. They're working late tonight and then they're getting a little bit later start in the morning and then I'm pretty busy tomorrow. So we'll see what footage I get tomorrow. And then I think Wednesday they said they're working in the evening as well. So I don't know what I'll be able to get, but we'll try it. If you like this video, would you give it a thumbs up? And if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell down below and customize your notification settings so you don't miss out on anything. If you haven't seen part one of my Ask Me Anything video, go check that out. Part two's coming soon. It may come out before this video drops. I don't really know. There's too much going on these days. I don't know. Anyways. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.